Noon World. I'm Elsie and this is Nick. We just got back in from a nice trot and canter around the countryside, as we can tell with his uh, fur coat and our nice warm spring day, starting to get the uh, knock the rust off from the winter time. But uh, we want to take a minute today to talk with you guys about basic riding position. <laughs> and Mallory's going to help from the background because she missed her little mule so much. So when we talk about basic riding position, I moved for my cameraman who just moved as well. What we want to do is we want an alignment from ear over your shoulder, over your hip, extending down to your ankle. That's sort of our basic starting place and that puts us in a fairly balanced position. There are a few differences with different saddle types and that's something they even noted in period. Duarte in particular went through and described in detail how to ride in different types of saddles. But he also talked about how a horseman should be able to ride in every one of them and have the appropriate position for each. So for most of our modern saddles, you want that centered sort of position. You're going to have more or less flex in the leg, but you're going to have a leg that hangs down nice and straight from the hip. If I take my foot out of the stirrup, you can see that if I stretch my leg down, we hang down nice and straight from the hip. I have just enough flex in my knee and just enough flex in my ankle that those can serve as shock absorbers. My shoulders are steady over my hip. I don't get too tight in my back, see when I get tight in my back I get kind of perchy and that loses a lot of the shock absorption there. What I want to do is stay with a nice straight back, shoulder over the hip. My arm drops down nice and straight with a little bit of bend in it. And that doesn't matter if I'm holding, neck riding this way, this way, crossed over, or both. I've got kind of this nice box that I work within which gives me the flexibility of my elbows to help steer the horse. I also, if I'm riding with two hands, a little bit of contact on the reins, I want to have my hands fairly flat so my thumb is on top. That aligns the radius and the ulna of the forearm in the most effective way. It allows me to use my elbow more effectively for creating pressure. I can use my wrist. And if you go back and watch my earlier videos, you can see it's the thing I do all the time really, really wrong when I'm riding with a long rein on moose. So thanks for spending a little bit of time with me and I hope your day is going well. Bye-bye.